Hello and hello. Thank you for joining me today. Joshua sent me over a suggestion. You know, I mean, you all know I love a nice German water park, amusement park. I love these things. He said, check out Fantasia Land. Fantasia Land. Found this video with the, you know, top 15 rides. Boom. Sounds great to me. Thank you, Joshua. I'm excited. Uh, go check out this channel. You know, this it's a Kenobi Coaster. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Link down below. Let's see. Fantasia Land is one of the world's best theme parks. Oh, one of the world's best theme parks, period. Wow, already. You know when these coaster channels are saying that? They don't just throw that out lightly. This place must be pretty cool. This park is located in Germany, and while it may be small in terms of land, it has some of the most- Honestly, right there, that's pretty cool. I've never seen- Is this going over the fountain? This park is located in Germany. I've never seen the swings going over a fountain. Germany. And while it may be small in terms of land- And the fountain, like, tilts! The ride is tilting, and the fountain's tilting with it. This is cool. I would ride this and listen to Bass Hunter. It has some of the most immersive and unbelievable Whoa. theming in the world. Each area teleports you to a different world, and that theming is accompanied by an exciting ride lineup. Oh my god, that looked epic. <laughs> These rides feel like so there's something quirky about them. Fantasyland currently features seven different roller And the music he's got going on is kind of spooky. ...coasters and several notable non-coasters, so in this video, I will rank my top 15 favorite rides and attractions at this theme park. Number 15, Fengju Palace. Fengju. This Vekoma Madhouse is the first of many themed attractions you'll find in this list. So is this like a Chinese theme, theme park? The facade is this ornate oriental palace. And then you have a pre-show with a decent ninja battle to set the story. Then the ride- <laughs> What was that? Looked like the guy from Shrek. And then you have a pre-show with a decent ninja battle Lord Farquaad. to set the story. <laughs> then the ride itself is one of the best of the genre between the theming and ride system. The benches and the Vacoma models have more movement than you may expect, so the illusion that the room is actually inverting is quite convincing. Number 14, Geister Rickshaw. I'm thinking I would get sick at Fantasia Land pretty quickly. I love how this classic dark ride is almost always a walk-on, but it does feel dated. The ride has expansive sets with a few massive animatronics. Several scenes are reminiscent of Disney. There's nothing creepier than an old animatronic. Disney's Haunted Mansion, but this ride is very slow-paced and lacking on wow moments. Number 13. But it still made the list, you know, just number 14. Crazy okay. Bats. Crazy Bats. This Vekoma creation is an odd indoor roller coaster. Unlike Fantasyland's other themed attractions, Crazy Bats feels sterile. <laughs> this coaster takes place in a dark, unthemed box. I guess when you've got 15 rides on the list, <laughs> the ones at the bottom aren't very, aren't the best, aren't very good. The one thing this ride has- It looks cool to me. Going for it is its length. This ride has a whopping three lift hills and 3,852 feet or 1,174 meters of track. But it just doesn't do much with that length. Only a few turns offer mild force at best. Number 12, Reich. They're backwards. This Vacoma family boomerang is intertwined with Terran. Now they're forwards. It's sort of hard to separate the two from a distance because both coasters are black and have similarly twisted track. Reich has a tummy tickling initial descent, but this ride is all about the visuals as you wind your way through Klugheim and under Terran. The layout may be short, but it's a decent family coaster. Up next would have been Hollywood Tour. This now closed boat ride felt like Disney's great movie no. ride crossed with Pirates of the Caribbean. The ride began with a tiny drop before passing iconic scenes from famous films. Like Geister Rickshaw. I, I did think that was real for a split second. I'll Some of the sets were dated, but the source material on the Stark ride was far more engaging. Number 11, Hotel Tartuff. This themed funhouse is an attraction you may not expect to see at a major park like Fantasia Land. 
unlike most fun I would be skeptical of going on that ele elevator. ...houses that barely any theming. This one takes guests on a wild journey through a chaotic hotel. The visuals combined with a goofy soundtrack augment the abundance of effects. What is going on? You have some of my favorite gags like sliding stairs, a rotating barrel, and a fast near vertical slide at the end. <laughs> this is my second favorite fun house in the world. Second favorite fun house in the world. I've never been to a fun house, and now I'm mad. Number 10, Colorado. That did look fun. Adventure. This Vacoma creation is one of the best mine trains in the world. This coaster is incredible length with 4,199 feet or 1,280 meters of track. And the layout is pretty scenic too, between all the tunnels and rock work. Then you also have an extended indoor section in total darkness that feels out of control. Just make sure to ride this coaster in the back. If you ride there, there are some larger drops that offer a little bit of airtime, and you're really whipped through those turns, <laughs> generating some sudden laterals. I do love the theming. Just the fact that it looks like a train. It's like a run runaway train. It's not the craziest coaster, but this train is out of control. Number nine, Talocon. The world's best top spin is just as fun to watch as it is to ride. Yeah, this is a next level type. Like I, we have these type of rides, but this is insane. This Hoos creation is unbelievably well themed. You have tons of fire and water effects plus a massive hieroglyphic wall that encases the attraction. This yeah. curved wall messes with your sense of direction, and it's super disorienting. And those visuals are paired with an intense ride experience. Talocon has two sets of five flips that pull some incredibly strong positive Gs. This would be my second vomit of the day. It feels like the rise try to jam you through the harness with Looks all like that fun, force. Though. Number eight, Mystery Castle. This is a very unique drop tower. The ride begins with a creepy queue line through a haunted castle. The scenes get darker and more mysterious as you go deeper into the castle, and I've heard the park occasionally has scare actors in there. Then the ride itself is a rare system from Intamin. Housed in a 213 foot or 65 meter tall tower, this one has some cool lightning effects on the ceiling, mm. and the deafening air blasts are quite intimidating. The ride rapidly pulls riders to the top and eventually drops what them back the down, heck? giving a decent free-falling sensation. Few drop towers are as themed as this one, and the exact program can vary depending upon the time of day. Really? Number 7, Mouse Out Chocolat. This feels like Ratatouille crossed with Toy Story Mania. You have the same ride system as Toy Story with a pop gun and 3D targets, and you need to Classic. blast mice with pastry shooters that I never win. I always think I'm going to win. I never do. Overrun a bakery. The ride is just as addictive as it's Disney's equivalent, and the cartoony scenes are pure chaos. It can be a little tricky to find the high-value targets in the busy sets, <laughs> but it's rewarding when you actually hit them. Number 6. River Quest. This is one of the best River Rapids rides in the world, if not the best. This Hafima attraction isn't your- That is so crazy. How it looks like bats. This is terrifying. Your ordinary rapids ride. In fact, there are barely any rapids. Instead, you have grand theming and three frightening drops. Each of those drops feels completely out of control. <laughs> the first one pinballs you off the side of the drop. The second is the best as it starts as a curving whirlpool with laterals before straightening out into These a These are speed. uniquely fun. You know, it's like you go on with your family. It's like you're getting pushed off into the wilderness. You feel like you're on an adventure when you're on this type of ride. And so if this is the best one in the world, then it's like a must-do attraction. Steep bit. Because of the speed you've built up, you get a pop of airtime in that little drop at the end and a downright violent deceleration on the splashdown. The third drop is a small but steep one augmented by waterfalls on both sides. All three drops create massive splashes, so you're almost guaranteed to come off drenched. Number 5, Wingus. This bizarre Mauer spinning coaster has two separate tracks, Force and Fear. This place is so whimsical. Like most coaster enthusiasts, I prefer the Fear side because it's the better drops, hmm. but both sides are super fun. You get some great- Who, Who's here? How'd she get stuck there? Spinning throughout, and the drops are sweet when you take them sideways or reverse. 
Then each side has some special tricks I don't want to spoil here, but they're sure to leave you laughing and questioning what just happened. Hmm. Number 4. Chiapas. This creation is one of the world's best log flumes. This <laughs> Mexican-themed flume is stunningly beautiful. This water ride takes you over and through caves, and also mixes in the occasional dark ride scene, with the highlight being the backwards bit that feels like a dance party. This looks way, way better than any log flume log ride I've been on here in the States. With a festive music. I was just going in a circle. Go up, and you go down. Music and club-like visuals. The ride also features some solid drops, with the strength being the final one, which has the record for the steepest drop in a log flume. Oh, wow. It's quite tall, so it offers a tiny pop of airtime towards the back, but that's not all. Oh, wow, all. look at that. The pullout pulls some surprisingly strong positive Gs, and then you rock it over a speed hill that actually gives some floater airtime. You'll come off this one pretty wet. <laughs> this thing's flying through the, through the track. But it's well worth it for such it's a complete so experience. Number three, Black Mamba. This B&M invert takes inspiration from Nemesis at Alton Towers and is similarly reliant on great visuals. The coaster winds its way over, under, and through an intricately themed African village. That theming is what makes this coaster special. And this one also has a much different layout, focusing more on turns and speed, particularly in the second half. And if you ride in the back, you'll get a fairly forceful Wow. Ride. It's like we're going through the jungle. This is really an amazing place. I do. The theming is The inversions have incredible. a snap back there. And the turns and helixes also pull some solid positive Gs. I have a separate review going into more detail, but this is easily in the top half of inverts. Number two, Taran. This intimate multi-launch coaster is the anchor of Klugheim, and it is a <laughs> stunning attraction. Wow, look at this. The launches have decent power to them, and then you navigate a devilishly twisted <laughs> so cool. layout that's impossible to memorize. The coaster's biggest strength are those visuals as you carve your way through the village and past the rock work. There are many near misses, but there are also <laughs> some great elements towards the beginning of the first and second halves. The twisted S-hills offer some good airtime paired with strong laterals. Both halves do peter out towards the end, but it is still a very impressive coaster that I go into more detail in a separate review. And coming in at number one is Fly. The prototype next generation Vacoma what the flying heck? coaster is easily my favorite attraction at Fantasia Land. Heck, it's one of my favorite coasters anywhere. Set in Rookburg, this coaster is a similarly twisted layout to Taran, but I find both the visuals and forces to be superior in this. This is like the most confusing roller coaster I've ever seen. One. Whizzing past buildings and over pathways is magical in that flying position. And if you're in the back, almost every valley and turn delivers crushing positive Gs. I was not expecting this ride to be as forceful as it was, but it really is one of the best coasters in the world for positive. It's weird how the whole thing is like, there's not a lot of up and down. It's all just tracks going. Positive Gs if you're in the back of the train. Fly also mixes in two <laughs> unique launches surprising pops of airtime, and two floaty inversions. Fly is a super long ride that's different than the other flyers I've been on, and I really hope Vacoma builds more of these for the reasons I go into in a separate review. So that is how I rank the top- I've never been on, I've never seen anything like this. 15 rides and attractions at Fantasia Land. What are your favorite rides at Fantasia Land? Or thoughts on any of the attractions I mentioned? I would love to hear your thoughts about any of these rides down in the comments. This place looks incredible. It's like a little totally different version of Disneyland, Disney World type feel. All the theming. Every roller coaster looks like you're in a different like part of the world. You go from the jungle to where are we now? Like Aladdin? I don't know. Anyway. This place looks awesome. If you enjoyed this countdown... I'd appreciate it if he gave this video a like. Will do. Go check out his channel, Kenobi Coaster. That was a good video. That was really cool. Yeah, once again, I'm impressed. The roller coasters and the water parks in Germany are top notch from what I've seen. Thank you for watching. I uh, I hope you're doing. I, I hope you're doing good.
And I hope to see you here again tomorrow. Okay, thanks. Goodbye.